Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today I'm here with Marcelo and we are shooting an episode of Paleo with Pros. What are we cooking today? Today we are cooking Paleo Mean Spice. Uh, the first step it is the paste or the dough. The ingredients we need it is coconut flour, almond flour, almond root, coconut sugar, ground ginger, ground cinnamon and orange zest and uh, eggs and coconut oil but the coconut oil needed to be chill they needed to be cold okay so usually i would have to heat the oil yes but obviously this is paleo this is, anytime you do pastry you use a cold so oil. usually if it wasn't paleo that would be like butter butter or something if, it, like if that. it wasn't paleo it would be butter and the butter needed to be cold, cold. okay so we have almond flour I love almond flour. I use that yeah. for most of my baking. What kind of bake are you doing? I do, at the I do a wonderful banana bread. You mix all your dry ingredients. I'm gonna use also some vanilla powder or vanilla extract. And then you need to try it a little by little and do as almost like a crumble. So you don't just put it all no, in? No, no, no. no. Why it's not? Because it would be very hard for you to mix all together. It's almost like if you're going to do a apple crumble. Mm, which I do all the time. <laughs> you do <laughs> no. apple crumble. <laughs> no, I <laughs> don't. don't do this is why I have you here, right? Because okay, this yeah. is, this is to me, this is gourmet. These are paleo mince pies. So you just keep adding the coconut no, oil? Yeah, it is it has cold. To be hard. They have to be chill. And this is the only way to do it by hand. Okay, so there's no, that is no, no Vitamix. <laughs> Darling, do you realize that it was a year ago that you were here in my kitchen? I had just launched my YouTube channel and Marcelo was my very first Paleo with Pros. We did a beautiful warm beetroot salad, I think it was. Check yes, it out. Correct. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm very lucky to, to have Marcelo back because he travels the world cooking it's for... True. This uh, year has been crazy, but then it's good. It's yeah, good. well, Lisa, even, even if I get you once a year, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with that. But you still, you obviously still love what you do. You love the cooking. I love the cooking. I love the traveling. And, and uh, it's majority private. It's all your clients are private. All the they? clients are private. Gosh, I'd like to travel with my own private chef. <laughs> I just put the egg in and now I mix again and as you see the dough starts to be I say more, more compact more firm. together yeah. more firm I just like a little bit of flour I didn't put all from the start the pastry doesn't have any gluten on it of course they will be more drier but it is fine because now we're gonna put it on a fridge How long do I put that in the fridge 30 for? 30 minutes, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, so that's the, the pastry done, and yeah. now we go on to the filling. For the filling, what are we having here? I'm gonna use 400 grams of different dry fruits. So we've got raisins, sultanas. I have raisins, sultanas, I have a little bit of peel of oranges and cherries. We have ginger, great orange zest, candy cherries, a little bit of honey. So we have cognac, and juice of one orange. So we're gonna grate an apple. All the dry fruits in a bowl. Cherries, ginger, mm -mm. the honey, cognac. Okay. The whole orange you're squeezing, squeezing in there. Yeah. You can do great or you can do chopped in small pieces. Do you know, many times when I've been grating, I've taken the bit the of my neck, finger. Your finger. But I'm quite renowned for my <laughs> cooking skills. <laughs> I burn tea towels, I grate my finger, I burn food. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? You lose the concentration? I, I just, you know, if, if I've got more than three or four things to think about, okay. it's gone. It's out, out the window. That's why my recipes are for the person that does not get along with the kitchen. So, and do you mix all together? We're gonna simmer for 20 minutes or so. In a low heat, just for softening the dry fruits. So now we're gonna do the simmery in that it is 20 minutes or so. And this time you turn the oven on, 160 Celsius. Okay. And how long do we want to the oven to heat for as long as this yes, is simmering? Yes, 20 minutes, yes, 20 okay. minutes is the time enough for us to prepare the pastry. So now we're gonna do step number three, that it is work with the pastry. The pastry was in a fridge for a half an hour. We're gonna start to work on it. What are we gonna need? It is a baking paper. Dust a little bit with coconut flour. Take a piece of the pastry. 
hold your paper, roll a little bit, just a bit with a little bit of coconut flour. Now normally you're gonna need a, a cutter. I'll uh, link these in the description. So a little round cutter and a star, star cutter, very important for Christmas. Take it. They will crumble anyway. Yeah. What you need to do is take a little bit more oh, and you perfect. press it with your finger. I think this is such a great recipe because everyone associates mince pies with Christmas and for those paleo people out there, at least they know that there is a paleo version. That's all simmered. Oh, yes. look at that. Oh, it smells delicious. Egg wash the pies on the top. We need a, one egg and a little bit of almond meal beaten together. And then because it's a paleo and it is a little bit more dry, we're gonna do on a pastry in here. This is for the stars. For the stars. And let them dry a little bit. Mm -hmm. It will be one teaspoon. To give a little bit of color and crispiness to when they are baking. Just need to dog egg wash again, just a little bit on the top. And then I will pass to you my sous chef to bake for 15 minutes on 160. Sous chef. I like that. <laughs> Sous chef appears. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what was it? 15 minutes. There you have it. Paleo mince pies. Now for the taste test. Mm. Go for it. Oh gosh. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Don't mind me. Mmm. That pastry is amazing. Gluten free, dairy free, everything free, paleo. Mm. Thank, Thank you so you much. It was a pleasure. It's great to have you back a year later. I will put the recipe in the description and I'll also put a link for Marcelo. Remember, if you've enjoyed this video, I make lots of other videos on paleo, beauty and lifestyle. So please subscribe and you can find me on social media at memore.tv. <laughs>